The Pope will arrive in Peru from Chile on Thursday afternoon, January 18th. On Sunday, he will depart for Rome shortly before midnight. The Holy Father will visit three cities, Lima, Puerto Maldonado, and Trujillo. There are two very important reasons for the trip. The first is the country suffering of natural disasters this year, like those related to the El Nino coastal storm that left 100 dead and forced 141,000 people to abandon their homes. Pope Francis believes it's a result of climate change for which man is partly responsible. The Pope wants to demonstrate the consequences of environmental abuse and make the world population aware of its role. The second cause of Pope Francis' trip is the polarization of society in Peru. As with his visits to Mexico and Colombia, the Pope wants to re-sew the social fabric and show it's possible to work on the same project for the good of all, even if there are differing opinions. In September, the Holy Father presented the Peruvian president, Pedro Pablo Kuczynski, with this olive branch medal containing a message. <laughs> What the Pope wants in each country is the rebuilding of that social friendship. The Pope wants the restoration of ties, of the social and familial fabric that make a people out of a population, that make a nation. The Pope's first stop will be Puerto Maldonado in the Amazon. He will meet there with indigenous populations. They are the ignored, forgotten, and most fragile citizens in society. One million indigenous people live in the Amazon in 400 different populations. The Pope's discourse will give clues as to which issues the Synod on the Amazon will address in September 2019 in Rome, which will join all bishops from the region. 17% of the Amazon jungle has already been destroyed. There are currently 250 dam projects that could alter the ecosystem and doom the indigenous who live there. Another problem in the Puerto Maldonado area is illegal gold mining in which thousands of people work under conditions of slavery, threats, and extortion. On Saturday, January 20th, Pope Francis will travel to Trujillo, a city in the north that was severely hit by natural disasters. There, the Pope will appeal for social responsibility in the face of climate change. On the final day, the Holy Father will meet with bishops from the country in Lima. He will also leave them with a message of unity. He will pray before the remains of one of his favorite saints, St. Martin of Porres. Look at the Pope's reaction when the bishops gifted him with a portrait of the saint. The political situation in Peru has been turbulent in recent months, and Pope Francis will likely make a strong call for tranquility. In December, the president of Peru was accused of corruption and nearly impeached. He was saved by the vote of a few of his opponents, who were supporters of Fujimori. Days later, on Christmas Eve, the president surprisingly pardoned the ex-president Fujimori, who was imprisoned for financial crimes and human rights violations during his term in the 1990s. The act has caused wide social unrest among the president's supporters as well as his opponents. According to Vatican statistics, 89.6% of Peruvians are Catholic. Other numbers show 81.3% are Catholic, 12.5% are Evangelical, 2.9% are Atheists, and 3.3% practice other religions. 